Reply.io tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Reply.io. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to Reply.io. Or you can simply click the link on the description below. In which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Reply.io, it is a sales engagement and automation platform designed to help businesses and sales team streamline their outbound sales processes, improving prospecting, and increase email outreach efficiency. And aside from that, this platform offers a range of tools and features aimed at automating and optimizing email communication with leads and prospects. And also, Reply.io is a commonly used by sales and marketing professionals to manage and scale outbound sales. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plans that you can avail. And below here, it will show you the plan including the free plan, starter plan, professional, and custom plan. And below each plan, you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included. But in those plans, I'm going to choose the free plan. So kind of click this button that says sign up for free to continue in which upon clicking on it you will be directed on this page and from here in creating your account you can simply enter your email address and generate your old password or you can use your google account or your microsoft account but in those options i'm going to continue using my google account so kind of click on it and you will be directed on this page and from here the next thing that you need to do is to select your answer using reply.io for business or for your agency and proceed by clicking the get started to proceed and after that you will be directed in this page in which from here you will see on the top panel some of the options that you can start navigating including the sequences the people data inbox execution and reports in which under the sequences option from here you will be able to create and manage a series of automated messages that can be sent to prospects or customers while well, under the people option from here you will be able to manage and organize the contact information of prospects and customers including to track sequence outcomes updating the statuses creating a smart filters and from here you will be able to add a contact manually or you can import from csv while well, under the data options on the top panel this option is used to manage and access the B2B company and contacts database that contain over 140 million verified up-to-date contacts, in which you will see here the filters such as the account name, the industry, the employee headcount, the revenue, contact name, and many more. And aside from that, under the inbox option on the top panel, this option is a consolidated inbox that gathers all threads from all sequences initiated by all team members in one place. And the purpose of this inbox in Reply.io is for streamlining communication management, for sorting replies, syncing email inboxes, and handling SMS messages, in which you can see here on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating, including the inbox, unread, AI draft, and all the categories below. And aside from that, under the execution option in Reply.io, this option is used to manage and execute tasks generated by sequences in conjunction with a Chrome extension, which from here, you will see that you can manage a task, creating a task manually, advanced sequence management, and from here, you could also integrate some other applications, and you can connect this to reply.io. And aside from that, this option could be helpful in tracking performance and the progress of the team including how many messages they've sent or how many open and replied rates they had. And you could also control the access to certain campaigns, templates, and sequences. From here, you could even set up a meeting by filling out all of the required information in here. And aside from that, under the reports option on the top panel, from this option, you can monitor and analyze the performance of email sequences and campaigns. The purpose of this reports option is to monitor the performance and also to use smart filters to filter the reporting statistics on email by specific criteria, allowing them to analyze narrow focus metrics and get better insights. And aside from that, from this option, you could also configure general settings to access the account data 
billing options, email accounts, scheduling, API, and many more. And aside from those options on the top panel, from here you could also navigate to clear this gotcha, the notification, the help option, and also your account to navigate the settings for your account or to sign out in this platform. But now moving on to start making a sequences, just click the sequences option and the sequences below. And you will be directed on this page. And from here, before you start making a sequence, it is suggested that you need to create first a folder. And to do so, kind of click in here. And after that, just enter the title or the name of this folder. So let's say I'm going to enter here sample folder one. Then click create button. And after that, you can now proceed by creating a new sequence by simply clicking this button on the top right corner. And from here, you can choose to start using template or from black page or scratch or to start from magic or with the help of AI. But I'm going to choose from template. And after that, from here, it will show you the pop-up window. And all you need to do is to select our apply templates. Let's say I'm going to choose this trial to customer. And upon clicking create button, you will be directed in here and on this page you will be able to start customizing the data of your sequence and by simply clicking one of the step you will be directed on this pop-up window in which it will show you the details about the first step and aside from that you could also rearrange the sequential step by simply dragging up and down the specific steps and also aside from that if you want to delete a specific step just click this icon right here and after that, just proceed by clicking Remove. If you're now done adding your step, proceed by clicking the next button below. And under the Settings option, from here you can connect a link and account which automation will be performed. And aside from that, you could also navigate here the general settings in the details about reply handling and any other details about settings. And if you're now done, kindly proceed by clicking this next button and under this add people, all you need to do is to add contacts to sequence in which you can import from CSV or even add from existing contacts into the sequence or to create manually by filling out all of this required information on the right side panel, you will be able to add contacts to the sequence. Or alternatively, you can skip this part by clicking the skip button below. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on the next step, which is the JSON AI. And from here, it will just show you if you want the JSON AI Assistant to generate responses to all replies from this sequence. And to do that, just simply turn this on and proceed by clicking the next button below. And now for the next step, which is the schedule. From here, you can pick an existing schedule or create a new one to specify when your emails should be sent. By clicking this new schedule, you will be able to select your own schedule. And after that, by clicking the next button, the last step is the launch in which it will show you the steps that you have been filling out successfully. And to save the changes, kindly click the save button right here. And after that, from here under the sequence and all folders, you will be able to see the sequences that we just made. So that's just how you can use reply.io. Thank you.